Well, that's excellent news, Sadie. Yep, I'll pop round after work, OK? All right, bye. It's your mother. Apparently, she's now the owner of a brand new luxury pad. What? Problem solved, I think. That's my inheritance she's chucking away. Well, you just have to wait until she's popped her clogs, I'm afraid. Oh, and um, since this all happened without your intervention, I can't see that I'm under any obligation to make that extra payment to you. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, nay. You, bye. <laughs> 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 Jesus, ain't no travel lodge, shoe. No, but I can afford it now, can't I? Do you think I've done good? I think you've done awesome. But how? I mean, you really got 50 grand? Yeah. Can I see it? Maybe later, eh? So, so, so what are you doing in Scotland? I don't know, really. I just got on a train, uh, ended up with a bar job in some crummy hotel in some village, you know. I thought, like, I'd try and go straight, but, but they treated me like crap, Nate, so, so I waited my chance to get in the safe and, and I legged it. You don't let me now have the cops after you, huh? No, cos they was all on the fiddle themselves. Can you believe it? It's like... A dream. Me and you. Back together. You're not with that Vicky no more, then. You just don't know how much I've been missing you. State of the art, this. Should be at this price. Hello? Yeah? Who? Oh. Oh, the estate agent. Uh, Mr. Patterson. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, Mrs. Karen Cross. I'm sorry about that. I was just having a wee nap. We have problems? Well, what problems? What do you mean, better offer? It was a fixed price, and I offered you cash. My daughter? <laughs> What's that? What's up, Sadie? I've been gazumped. Oh, no. It's just when I've got myself all geared up to move. Oh, that's terrible. She said it had something to do with my daughter. And Marie. Mum. I saw this rubbish about you buying a flat. So you do know about it. And you've just gone and ruined it for me. You mean you haven't bought it? No. Thanks to you. I've a good mind to put the police on to you. Maybe it's for the best, yeah? It probably was a bit flash for you. Mum, I have no idea what you're talking about. But I'm not having you moving into a flat or anywhere else. But in with Gil and I. You don't want to up sticks and move to Edinburgh. Turn your back on all your memories here. Excuse me, but I think I know what's best for my own mother. You can't even see she doesn't want to move in with you. Look, we've all been under a bit of a strain lately, but you're welcome to stay as long as you like, Sadie. You serious? No, she's not serious. We're not the ones after your money. Now, I really think that we can make a go of the Hope Springs Hotel. I don't get this. You know Ewan would give you a good price for this place if you just named it. Oh, I can see right through you. Henry. Ewan can double the price if he likes. We're not going anywhere. This is our home. And it's your home too. I 
I was going to do this earlier, but I think I should give you your money back to help with the fire damage. Absolutely not. No way, Sadie. That's your nest egg. And we want you to keep it totally safe, wherever it is. <laughs> you screwed up, Anne-Marie. This woman, they've just got hold of her. I just don't understand it. Well, they seem to enjoy getting in my way. Well, maybe they can sense you're desperate. You are the best, folks. You know, that ain't no one else for me. I bought you a treat. Oh, leave it out, mate. I've been clean for nearly two years. Come on. I want to get high with you. It'll be like a reunion, yeah? Our house. Our house. She should never have made an offer in the first place, and I never wanted your mum's money anyway, so just leave it, huh? Oh, Let's face it, the busier she's kept serving folk, the less time she'll have to drink herself to death. Take Anne Marie over a drink, Sadie. I think you two need to make up, huh? I'm not going to bear a grudge if she wants a truce. It's me that needs made up to mind. Can I have a pint of lager, please? Coming up. Uh, apologies for Anne-Marie earlier. She is a bit hyper with oh, everything. Don't be daft. It's understandable. I've been on your case today, Mackenzie. My case? Yours, your brother's. For all I know, it's the same thing. I don't know where Billy is. And if I did, I'd tell him never to come back here. Because he's going to get jailed for something he didn't do. I don't think you'll get much out of him. You think he's covering up? Oh, he doesn't know anything. It's obvious. The kid wears his art on a bloody great neon sign. Well, you are the only person around here that thinks that. Apart from me. Sorted. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm on my way back. All her prison pals have disappeared with her, and no one seems to know where. Bull. One of them must have said something to someone. I'll pick up the trail somehow. Yeah? Well, you better. Because I'm going to need someone to smack if it ain't my wife. That's the last of them. Look at this. Our new screen set. 